Let's be honest, we are all a mess. And that is the common ground that we must come together and pick each other up. Good day, my friends. Listen, I feel an obligation to voice my thoughts and professional opinion. On YouTube, I'm amazed, 21,000 views on my last post. This shows me the community is begging for answers and wants help. I'm getting a lot of messages from parents and community members wanting to know what they can do and that and not enough is being done. My friends, I'm not posting this taking one side or another. I have no stake in the game. Other than my love for teens, my understanding of today's teens and the well-being of teens and for those that guide them, teach them, care about them, and want the best for our teens. That's parents, teachers, coaches, school administration, youth pastors, and everyone in our community. I also know that by posting and saying anything, I'm opening myself up to criticism, trolls, and obviously a difference in opinions, and I'm okay with that because this is my job and what I'm passionate about. So here goes, a couple things. From what I'm hearing is that bullying is a big issue. My friends, bullying is and has been a big issue for hundreds of years and it will continue to be a big issue. I don't want to be insensitive about bullying, but you are blaming the school on doing more. Stop right there. Stop deflecting the responsibility of parenting. As much as you are asking the school to do more, you have to put the responsibility on where it all starts, our parents. I'm not denying that the school has to do more, and my friends, I promise you they are. But what you are asking is that the school reacts right away, and they can't. You're asking for your voice to be heard. It's being heard. There are professionals in place, counselors working tirelessly, and they're emotionally drained too, teachers and staff as well. For anything successful to be done, it's about being patient in the process and not overreacting. Listen, no suicide is ever the same. No suicide is ever treated the same. And if I were to get into teen suicides in school communities, you'd understand, but that is not the point of this video. Please, I urge you, let's all calm down for the time being and look at a solution. Let's let the school administration, staff and teachers do their job. They're working. I promise this is of the highest priority to them right now. I promise they care. They care about each and every one of your kids. Here is what I want to address, and everyone needs to get on board for this to work. This is the only way bullying can be dealt with. It takes every student, it takes every family, it takes every person, and it takes patience. But also I want to address this in a second. Bullying is not the cause of suicides. Suicide is very rarely the cause of one thing. However, one thing can be the straw that breaks the camel's back. But rarely is suicide caused by one thing. The most common of teen suicide starts with mental illness. That's another video that I'm working on. Bullying in schools and bullying outside of schools, cyberbullying. Let's chat about this. First, for teens today, you are being judged by who you are in social media. It's not right, but it is what it is. Let me ask you this question. Who's the hardest person to get to know? You're probably saying me, myself, ourselves, right? Yeah. We're all in self-discovery mode every single day trying to figure out who we are. And one of the greatest things I talk to teens about is self-esteem. Get to know who you are. Be comfortable with who you are not. And self-esteem has to start with parenting. Yes, teachers, coaches, adults. We all play a role in the self-esteem of our children, but the primary responsibility for raising our children is at home and the parents. Now in school, here's what I suggest. 
everyone gets on the same page. You are Perry Township. You are Perry High School. You are one community that wants the absolute best for all of your children. I call this the ABCs of bullying prevention. First, you have the bully who does the bullying and oftentimes they have low self-esteem trying to find themselves in this world and bully to show that they're better by comparison. Also, parents, I'm quite sure that if your child is a bully, you probably know unacceptable behavior. Then there is the bullied. This child is the victim of being bullied or harassed. Now, this is a mindset. We are not victims to life circumstances, obstacles, and situations. Again, parents, your child is not a victim. This is your responsibility again. Kid, let me tell you something. Pick yourself up, get up, dress up, wash your face, brush your teeth, and do your dance. And walk out those doors every day and believe in yourself. We are victors. We are not victims. Ignore people who have no respect for others. They're not worth wasting your emotions thinking about. Don't react, ignore them, and carry on. Or on social media, delete them. Block them. Then you have the bystander. The bystander plays a significant role. So here's the A and the ABCs of bullying. First, when the bystander sees bullying or any type of harassment, they step in right away. This takes self-esteem, takes courage. They take the person being bullied or harassed away from the situation. That's A, take the person away. B is for befriend the person. Everyone wants to be accepted. Everyone wants more like on Twitter, Insta, and Snapface. It's okay to say, hey man, why don't you come sit with me and my friends? Befriend the person. Take the person under your wing. Show some love and compassion. B, befriend the person. The C is for confronting the bully when you see it. Listen, I'm not saying MMA style, scissor kick, the person in the throat kind of confrontation but I'm talking about class, tact, and respect. Again, this is a parent's responsibility. Teach your child, see something, say something. Teach them how to be respectful and tactful. Parents, this goes for you too. This is communication. It's okay that when you see something, you say something, but my friends, it's in how you say it. So listen. Let's all take it easy. I'm aware of what's going on. This is a very tough and emotional time for everyone, but everyone needs to work together in supporting each and everyone's roles, parenting, teaching, leading, and coming up with solutions. Those that complain without a solution are whining. Stop. Couple more things quickly, please. You say our kids aren't being heard, my friends, they're being heard when they speak up. The school is following protocol. They are taking note. My friends, they also have their hands tied in what they can do and what they can't do. Parents, make sure your child is being heard at home and the issues are being fully addressed and you are teaching your child coping skills and how to problem solve. We can't expect our schools to fix our kids. We don't fix kids, we fix cats and dogs. We teach, we educate, we inspire, we encourage, we love, we discipline, we teach. And parents do this too. If you're having trouble, I strongly suggest counseling. Learn how to cope and problem solve. Learn how to effectively communicate. Also, learn how to build your self-esteem. Learn how to ignore what you need to ignore. Learn to let go of things that you can't control. Learn and practice affirmations, breathing, meditating, and the power of journaling. Teens, my friends, step up in the right way. Be an example of love, compassion, empathy. Be the change that you wish to see in the world. Be strong and supportive. Set examples. You are influential to your group of people. 
and your group of people is influential on other groups. Groups or cliques within a school determines who we are at Perry High School and Edison and community schools. And as much as I don't like cliques, we have them. We've always had them. But each clique has influence. Each clique has leaders. Know that we are all learning about ourselves each and every day. Be a positive influence. Be the change. And when you need help or you have a question, ask. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Help each other. Speak up. Say something with tact and respect. We need to take all signs seriously, my friends. Change is going to happen. It takes all of us. We're all part of change. And parents, you're very important here. Teachers, keep doing you. Know your why. So important right now. Staff, keep setting the example. From the moment a child gets on your bus, the way you answer the phones, that first impression. How you greet kids in the cafeteria. So important. Teens, you love, my friends. I know this is a hard time in your life. But you will get through this. You have to believe. You have to take responsibility. You are not a victim. You are a victor. And I leave you with this. I always say three things that make all the difference in the world. Your self-respect your attitude, your choices. Mad respect for you all. Stay awesome, my friends.